Hi, and welcome to another episode of Ask on CYC. So today it brings me great joy. It brings me great joy as we mark a milestone here on the CYC show, Ask, as today we celebrate the season finale for Ask. But don't worry, we won't be long gone for a while. We'll be back very soon, sooner than you think. And I'd like to thank you as the viewers for tuning in and making this show a success. And I'd like to thank you for the questions that you have given us. You remember, you'll never know the answer unless you ask. And I'd like to thank those who contributed by suggesting topics for Ask's show. So for you guests, we have a very special episode lined up for you today as we have a very special guest, the man who, with who all his hard work made CYC a success and brought CYC to you. So I'd like to introduce you to our guest on tonight's show, the one and only Father Bshoi Elantoni. Welcome, Father. It's a pleasure having you and brings me great joy to finally have the opportunity to interview on Ask. It's a blessing for me. It's a big blessing for us, Father. So let's get familiar. Like, I, like you are very aware with all my guests, I always like to get familiar with them before we sh the show starts. So let's get familiar with you. What age were you when you became a monk and what inspired you for this? Uh, actually, I, I wanted to be a monk since my childhood. When I was 16, 17, I wanted to go to the monastery and stay there. So my spiritual father asked me, what are you going to offer to the Lord? You have nothing. Uh, if you finish high school, it's not enough. You have to continue your study uh, at university. Then uh, uh, the monks also told me that you have to work, gain a lot of money. Uh, work hard and uh, do uh, whatever you can. Then after that, leave everything and come. At that time, you can say you are offering something to the Lord. So because I'm, I was eager to go to the monastery uh, very as soon as possible at the time. I uh, I did everything very quickly, and I went while I was 21. And I remember then when I became a priest while I was 21, they wrote in one of the magazines that uh, the youngest priest all over the world. So I was young when I went to the monastery. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so um, for a monk in our Coptic church, is it permissible for them to study? And if the answer is yes, what did you study? Uh, it wasn't. It wasn't, uh, it, uh, actually it was very, very hard to find uh, one of the monks are studying. And you can count them uh, in the old days. Nowadays, no, uh, His Holiness Pope Theodore II is encouraging uh, monks to study. And he sent some of them to even Greece to study there. So, but in the old days, no, there were nobody can be able to study. Uh, and he has to get a special permission from His Holiness himself. Thank God, thank God, I was very, very lucky that whenever I wanted to study, His Holiness said, okay. And he gave me, uh, gave me uh, many permissions to study. And I didn't study just to, to, to study. It's not a, a matter of studying. Every time I need to do something, to do something or benefit the church in one of the things, I go and study for it. For example, uh, we were in the, in the, in the monastery, we, we were thinking seriously to, um, uh, to uh, transfer all the manuscripts into the computer. Uh, I knew the computer at the time, but at, as you know, that I, 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 I'm, I'm sure that I was one of the first monks all over the world, and I, and in Egypt, I mean, to start to, to use a computer. The first computer I, I used it, it was uh, in 1985, I think, and it was a gift from the United Nations, 
and it was a $30,000 laptop, and it was monochrome, it has no windows or nothing like now, and uh, it was DOS, it was very difficult. <laughs> but this is the first one I started with. But later, when I wanted to transfer the manuscripts into the computer, actually I went, uh, I asked His Holiness to study in uh, uh, a computer science. And I got a computer science bachelor degree from the United States just for the sake of transferring the manuscripts into the computer. And I did, thank God, later, we transferred around a million two hundred fifty. Uh, oh, wow. seven uh, files into the computer. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so when we when, uh, were thinking to start a museum, I got a diploma in museums from Netherlands. When I wanted to, to be in solitude and find some work for me, so I went, I got an art, um, a master uh, degree in art just to paint icons while I'm there in my uh, cell. When I wanted to help the poor in the service, I, uh, I studied also up to a doctorate uh, of uh, ministry in social development just to help the poor. So everything I wanted to, to do, uh, even when I work in media, I went to Canada, I studied media production just to help me uh, in the, uh, at my work. So it's, a, it's a not for study because I will not take the certificates and put it in my cell. It will not make any difference with me. But, and you know, sometimes I studied and I got no certificate at all. I said, I don't need it after I finish my study. So, but I was so lucky, thank God. Uh, His Holiness, uh, late Pope Shunu III, he gave me a lot of opportunity to study and I was one of the most lucky yeah. monks. <laughs> Just a reminder to our viewers, please, this is your opportunity to ask Father Bashoel and Tony a question on tonight's live show. The phone number is 0416-551-292. Send us a text or give us a call and speak to Abuna tonight on the live show. Thank you. So Abuna, tell us what it was like being a monk. Uh, I believe it's a very simple idea. Monasticism is like marriage. I mean, if you want to, if you love someone, uh, you will marry her and take her alone in your house and love each other as you wish. So this is, it is the same like you love God, you want to be with him alone. So you go to the monastery and stay in your cell just with him, praying for the whole world. So it's a kind of marriage but spiritual marriage. That is monasticism in a very simple way. Yeah. What, are the, what, are the, what is the best thing that you've experienced in your life of monasticism? Uh, the best thing is to be alone with God in, uh, in the cell, in your cell. The best time I spent in my life, it was the, during the solitude, which I went through. It was some of them were very, very, very strong solitude for <coughs> four or five years, and some of them was a kind of solitude, also another five or six years. So this is all what I spent in solitude. Well, uh, you're very famous around the whole world, known as the most famous storyteller. Why is this? Uh, I like to, uh, to tell stories because as Christ was telling parables. Without parables, he wasn't uh, give uh, any sermon. He was always put some purpose for the disciples and for the congregation to understand and to make it easy for them. So I think I put stories and I, I always tell real stories from our real life to make it close to the people and to let uh, the message be easy to reach them. Because when you give a sermon, a full sermon, with a very highly theological stuff, and not a, in a simple way that the people will be touched with, it's, it means nothing, because they will forget it. But always stories, they keep it in their hearts. 
I, I, I met with a girl just uh, a few days ago, and she said to me, Buna, I'm, I was, I'm still thinking about the stories that you told me a year ago about so-and-so, and this is, makes me really uh, feel um, that I have to, to, uh, to remember everything, I mean. Mm. Abuna, would you mind sharing a miracle that you've experienced with us, please? Miracle? I see miracles in the, in the life of the people every day and every time. Thank God, one of the courses which I studied, it was observation. So I can observe uh, even little stuff. Yes, I've, I've seen many miracles in, uh, during my uh, traveling everywhere around the world. Yeah, and also in, uh, before I start that, the miracles which it happened in the monastery, something, and the miracles which I've seen around the world, something else like uh, in the life of the people. So which one you like? Uh, tell, me, uh, tell us about the one about the boy with no pupil. Uh, because it's a long one. Uh, you can give us <laughs> a short one. <laughs> it's actually the one uh, in, the, in the life of the people that the, the, the most miracle I appreciate uh, or, or I, I can remember that the, the people change. Their life changed. Miraculously, it's not, you know, when you see somebody that he's deep into sin and got to change his life with the little things, this is really amazing. This is the miracle. The miracle that people come back to Christ, even they are away a lot, uh, or f very far from him. To, I will tell you the truth. Yes, I appreciate the miracles very much. But if, if the devil will appear, he will make mer more miracles. He will make miracles everywhere, and he will let people believe in him by his miracles. So I'm not into miracles a lot. I believe in miracles. I believe uh, in the appearance of the saints because I've seen many, but not into that too much. And I always ask people, what is first? Miracle brings faith, or faith bring miracle. So I think faith is more, more important. And for, faith can bring miracle to people. The most important miracle in our life to be in Christ amongst this hardship of this world. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I'd like to thank you for the background and and you know the you know, insight you've given us on the life of Manasseh and your life, and uh, but let, let's let's get into what tonight's shopping uh, show is about. Let's get into CYC. So please share with us when did CYC start? CYC started uh, almost seven years ago now, and uh, it was in September two thousand nine, and. I was uh, in charge of another Arabic uh, channel, and I went to study in Canada uh, media. While I was there, I found a lot of youth away completely from Christ. I was bleeding for them before Christ, and I was asking to, to bring them back. So one night I said, why don't have church in their, in their, in their phones, in their, in their hands? So wherever they go, they can see uh, something about Christ and uh, some uh, movies and uh, sermons and songs and uh, praise. So I went to, the first one was very close to me at that time. I was studying in Saskatchewan. Uh, then I traveled to uh, His Grace Bishop uh, Sarabian in um, uh, California. And I asked him to uh, support me to start uh, the, the channel. He didn't like, um, he, he said, I'm not into channels, I'm sorry, uh, but you can teach one of the fathers, so whenever you need us, we'll be there. I, uh, <clears throat> I sat with one of the fathers and I taught him as much as I could. 
and they give them a study how to start a channel. And then I went to His Grace Bishop Yusuf. I asked him. Uh, he said to me, "My my uh, uh, diocese uh, is scattered everywhere because he has around twelve states under his uh, jurisdiction." So he said to me. Uh, you start, and whenever you start, I will support you. And until today, he is fulfilling his promises. He never let us down, and he's always supporting. Thank God. Uh, then I was uh, with uh, His Grace Bishop Marcus. He liked the idea very much, and he started it, and uh, he established the channel, and I started with him. And it was really a blessing because we started in the beginning online only. Then we found nobody is caring about it because uh, seven years ago wasn't strong online like now. And then uh, we, uh, 2010, we started on TV, on satellite. And by this way, we started year after year. But I believe um, that CYC is the only Coptic Orthodox English channel. Yeah. So why why made what made you what inspired you to make an all English channel? I believe that the Coptic Church has to have only two channels. This is my belief: one Arabic, one English, no more. Because uh, it's a lot of efforts, a lot of money, and a lot of money for each channel. So if we gather together all the efforts into two channels, it will be enough. And it has to be directly under, under uh, the, um, the patriarchate uh, power. Even uh, like uh, His Grace Bishop Marcus is taking care of uh, the channel and uh, supervise the channel. But still, it, uh, like now, we are uh, directly with His Holiness Pope Tawadros. I wish that, that we have only two channels so the church can uh, afford to uh, pay the expenses of the two channels. And uh, I mean two is enough. Arabic, one Arabic, one in English. And if you see the Arabic, you, will, you might see uh, a repetition. And uh, I heard somebody nowadays is trying to start a new one, English. I'm really amazed. Why? Come, CWC is there for anybody to bring any production. If you are looking for a service, if you are looking to serve somebody, so the tool is there. Why you choose another tool? But anyway, they said the, the, the way. We have only one English channel, thank God, until now. Yeah. Mm. Uh, we have a question that just came in from an audience member. <clears throat> They're asking, can you tell us any interesting statistics on how many people watch CYC and which countries have the most viewers? The most countries have the most viewers is United States of America. And the uh, uh, most place that watching us in the United States of America is California. And uh, we have around uh, online 7.3. This is the statistic which we got from Google last year, at the end of the last year, 7.3 million views last year, online only, and around 3 million uh, satellite with satellite. So all in all, around 10.3 million uh, watching us. So how do you monitor the, the ratings and views of, of the show? Uh, online you can, but the satellite, no. No, OK. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, we're going to go for a quick break, and when we come back, we'll continue our discussion. Okay. Thank you to our viewers who have tuned in. Please, just a reminder, the phone number is 0416-551-292. Send us a text, and we'll answer your question on tonight's show, or give us a call and speak to Abu Nab Shoyal and Tony on tonight's live show. Thank you. CYC, Christian Youth Channel. Hi, right, and welcome back to Ask on CYC. Tonight we have a very special episode as we have the man who works hard behind the camera and tonight we're putting him in front of the camera and giving you the opportunity to ask him questions. 
Father Pshoel and Tony, please. The phone number is 0416-551-2927. Send us a text or give us a call and speak to Father on tonight's show about anything you want. Tonight is an opportunity for you as it's our season finale. We have a very special guest and giving you the opportunity to ask him whatever. So please send us a text or give us a call on tonight's show. Thank you. So Father, besides here in Sydney, which I love serving here in CYC, where else around the world is CYC established and producing shows? We have two things, studios or production center. Production center, they have all the, all the equipment like a uh, studio, but they have no studio. They just uh, uh, produce the programs everywhere. Uh, so we have a studio here in Sydney. We have another studio in um, uh, Toronto, and one in New York, Queens, and one in Florida, uh, Orlando. And we are building one in Chicago. So this is the studios. But we have uh, production centers like uh, in Melbourne, also in um, uh, Montreal, Canada, in San Francisco, in Minnesota, uh, in Clearwater, Florida. Uh, in, in Egypt, of course, we have a studio. And we have a kind of, a kind of production center in UK. So this is the place at which uh, CYC everywhere. Um, actually, w I wish that in every church we'll have uh, a place for CYC that the uh, young people can come and produce whatever they want, any idea they have, any talent they have, they can show it on CYC. Yeah, the Father, look, I understand that it's aired on satellite, but we also reach out to the youth through YouTube so we give the youth the opportunity to watch it on their phones. So a lot of youth out there would watch uh, comedy videos or funny videos or uh, gym videos on YouTube, but some of them are hesitant to watch Christian channels, but you've given them the opportunity to have it on in the palm of their hand through the YouTube channel. So what's your opinion on, 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 on this? I believe that we are fighting not with uh, we are we are fighting with the devil himself, and the devil is the prince of this world. So he de dominate everyone under his uh, under his powerful uh, wings. But we are trying hard to reach everyone in the world with the word of God, and I believe that one day we'll win. I know still we are struggling in many things. And our, uh, our uh, capabilities is very low compared with a very strong uh, media in the world. But uh, I have faith that God will support us. One of the shows that on CYC was very, very strong and show, I found that a thousand and thousands of people watch it, like uh, Father Lazarus and Antonio, which is Monk's Life. Uh, a lot of uh, people from around the world, they call me and talk to me about the uh, show. So sometimes we, we can reach people, even they don't say uh, openly, they, they watch CYC, but they watch sometimes uh, songs, sometimes praise, something that movies, for example, I like, I found some people like the movies or cartoon for the kids. So we reach people. We, we are going to reach millions of people from where we got the 10 million point three from mm. where. For sure, a lot of views uh, on, on, an, on the channel uh, on every day. Sure. Abuna, I only serve here in Sydney, so if on CYC, so my knowledge is very limited. But please share with me and share with the world what are the obstacles and challenges you faced with CYC? The most important uh, obstacle is the money. The, the cops people are, uh, are very generous, but generous in their own way. So if you come to non-Coptic and tell him donate 
for a poor, he will say, I will donate to a channel and the media will get 10 times what I'm giving to the poor. But for our people, as very simple, they think directly, if I want to donate, I will donate to the poor, the hungry. They give the hungry one physically, but they forgot about the hungry one spiritually, the one who is in need of Christ himself. So the problem is, uh, most of our donors in, in the Western countries, they are, uh, most of the cops I mean in the Western countries, they're still watching Arabic channels and supporting Arabic channels financially. And when I go to Egypt to, go, to gather and get money, they said, uh, it's uh, an English channel, get money from the foreign countries. So I'm in the middle. I, I don't know what to do. If I go there, there is no money. If I give, I'll come here. There's no, a lot of people are supporting us. Otherwise, how come that we we st we, we uh, still running the channel for seven years? I May mean, the Lord bless them uh, all over the world. But still, we are struggling. We are always thinking a lot what to do, what will happen next year, what will happen next month. So we are always thinking about that. This is a very biggest obstacles. And this is the people said to me, why, Abuna, you are going around the world from place to place just to promote the channel? And to, I, I, I drive every year more than 80,000 kilometers, more than. In addition to flights everywhere around the world, uh, trains, bus. In the old days, I have to sleep in the car just to save a little money of the hotels. The, the people might say uh, uh, that I'm humble. No, I'm not a humble guy. I'm, it's not a humility. It's, a, it's just a, I was thinking seriously how to, uh, instead of paying $50 or $70 for a, a hotel, no, I sleep in the car. And I said, I'm a monk, so I was sleeping in the desert. So there is no, uh, I always say I'm homeless, but not carless. Mm. They have a car, so <laughs> I sleep in the car. So uh, sometimes it is hard because uh, sometimes uh, I remember that the police came to me once in the United States and he knocked the, the door and, uh, the, and they said, what are you doing, sir? It was 1 a.m. I was sleeping. I said, I'm sleeping, sir. He said, no, this is illegal. You have to move. I said to him, I need only 30 minutes and then I will move. He said, no, sir, you have to move now. <laughs> I said, sir, I have been driving for uh, 13 hours continuously, and I'm so tired. If I move now, I will, uh, if you want me to move. But it will be your responsibility if I die or have accident anywhere, because I, I can't even con focus on my driving. He said, OK, hold on, sir. And he went to his colleague in the car, and he came back to me and said, Sir, we care about you. I said, thank you so much. He said, you have to move. I said, this is your care. He said, you are in the worst place in the United States. The gangs here are very dangerous, and this is very, very dangerous for you. You have to move. You have to run. I said, don't, don't worry. I believe in God, and God is my protector. He'll take care of me. He said, I'm serious, sir. <laughs> he said, I'm serious too. I'm talking about my God. And he said, it will be your responsibility if anything happened. I said, OK, it's mine. So after he left, I went into deep sleep again. And when I woke up and I started uh, the engine, I found the police car still there behind oh, wow. me. They didn't leave me, so they, were, uh, they protected me. So my God sent them to protect me. Wow. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, yeah. So it's very difficult for me to go from place to place. The most humiliating thing for a monk to ask for money. I believe, the, I believe this is the worst thing ever it can happen to a monk. Mm. Because we, we left all the money, and now we are asking for our money. I hate the money. I'm telling you. But I have more than 55 employees around the world. We have 
uh, studios rented everywhere. We have to pay for it. Equipment on, on a monthly basis or so, we, you have to, to, to get uh, more equipment. Uh, expenses for satellite, it's very high expenses. So it's a, it's a lot of money, spending a lot of money for one channel. So because of that, I said it's better for the church to have two channels and put all the efforts and all the money in two channels than uh, more than uh, two channels without yeah. any reason. Well, I got two questions that just came in from an audience member. Uh, there's one that actually relates to what you were saying. I'll ask this question first. They're asking, did you ever feel that you wanted to leave the CYC service? What is keeping you motivated to continue? Uh, the, the thing which is keeping me to continue is I always think about uh, a service that re I said, if, and every time I decide, I said, no, it's enough. I gave up. I will leave. God sent me a message, and a very strong message makes me completely change in my mind. For example, I, I was uh, in Canada and some people gave me a very hard time talking about they don't want to help CYC, they will help the Arabic channels and stuff like that. In front of the, of the door of their house, uh, I was greeting them. Then a, a lady with uh, her car stopped <coughs> um, uh, in, the, in the street. She was going fast and she stopped. And uh, she came out and said, are you Abuna CYC? I said, yes, I am Abuna CYC. She made a matania in the street. I said, no, don't. Why are you doing a matania? I said, no, I'm not, uh, I'm not making matania. I'm kissing your feet. I said, what? <laughs> Why you are you doing that? I said, because you saved my son. My son was 17 years old, and uh, all of a sudden he became atheist. And nobody could be able to bring him back to the church. And one of his uh, friends gave him a link uh, to of CYC show, changed his life, and he kept crying, and he, he blamed himself that he left Christ. And now he is stronger in the church more than before. So it's really amazing what you've done with my son. So this, after I was very, very upset, God lifted me up again. And also another time I was very, very, I, I couldn't, you couldn't imagine how I was frustrated and uh, very upset. And uh, a guy in uh, Chicago, he's Chinese uh, studying in, in medical school. And he met me and said to me, you know, CYC brought me to Christ. I said, how? He said, a Christian guy sending a link uh, on CYC to another Christian guy, it came to me by mistake. Oh, wow. <laughs> I watched, I liked, then I Googled where is the nearest church I came, and now I am Christian because of you. So God always giving me support to, to teach me that not everyone abandon you. That is, I'm with you and working together. So every time I am down, he left me up. Yeah. Okay. Another question that came in from the audience, they're asking, what is your vision for the future of CYC? So, to be one of the strongest channels in the world, <laughs> I always dream of buildings, full buildings for CYC with a full studios, a real, uh, 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 I mean, people that are working and, uh, you know, work with volunteers, it's a blessing, because I want all the, we have around, uh, how much, around 400 volunteers around the world. Thank God, it's a, it's a miracle. And by, by those volunteers, we are working very well. But still the volunteers, the problem with the volunteers that they don't see the work of God is essential matter. So if they are working, they go to their work in a specific time. Even in the morning early, they go out of their house seriously because they have work. Even if they have show, a show. They are reluctant, they're lazy, they're like a church. 
people going to the church. <clears throat> so this is the problem. We are not always seeing the people that they are working. I dream of CYC to reach everyone in the world and everyone can hear about and got the word of God from CYC as uh, we, we, we are one of the channel that we are not fake anything. Everything is very clear and you know, just we don't fake anything. Even one like you, you are working, you are serving with us for a long time now and you are not all what you, you, you look for, just blessing. So these hearts which were serving with us, I believe it will make CYC very strong one day. Okay. Father, I wanted to ask, um, you know, I know you mentioned earlier that when you reached out to the viewers, you said if anyone has a talent or everyone has an idea, um, what else can, uh, can the viewers do to help the cause of CYC? First of all, they have, I wish that everyone listen to us or see us, uh, watch us, that he goes to his uh, contact list and send cycnow.com to all of his list, even the Australian guys, even the American guys. It's a, a kind of mission work. Or oh, they can share it on Facebook. Or share it on Facebook yeah. or Twitter. Yeah. or uh, 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 YouTube, YouTube or yeah. any, any, any social media, we can use it just to bring people to watch the Word of God. We can't preach. We cannot preach physically. At least preach social, uh, by, uh, through social media. Mm. Me, do something even little to, to show God that you love Him. Maybe one guy will, will watch something on CYC and it will change his life. This very second, I wish that the people understand that the channel is, uh, the expenses of the channel is very high. And I wish that everyone just send uh, on cycnow.com, he goes and click donate, and even donate a little money. I'm not asking about a lot of money, just a little money, but monthly basis. It will help us a lot. When we start to get loans from the bank, the bank refused to get, refused completely to give us loans. Why? We don't have anything, even income. We don't have this, uh, specific income. So I wish that the people also care about that. You know, it's a cup of tea, two cup of teas, and the, during the, the uh, he just uh, 20, uh, $10, $20, it's nothing, but for us, means a lot. So also uh, another thing, and this is the third thing that they can pray for, they have to pray for us a lot mm. because the people forget to pray for us. And if they have any talent, they can come and say, we, I'm ready to help. Thank God, thank God. In, uh, you know, in Australia, we have the, a lot of young people are uh, helping and serving with us, and you can see a lot of shows. But I wish that uh, it will be around the world also the same. Yeah. Father, well, uh, if, if you wanted to say a message to viewers right now, what message would you say and share with them right now on tonight's show? Uh, I want to tell them that uh, you are doing great. You, as Christian in the world, a light for the world. So behave as a Christian, a real Christian, with your love, in your dealing with others, in your heart. Have Christ into your heart and he will change everything. We like so much to plant ourselves and our children into the church, which is very good and blessing. But we have to plant ourselves and our kids into Christ, the one who owned the church. So while they are in Christ, wherever they go, they will carry Christ with them, and it will be no problem at all with them. This is my message. Okay, I'd like to thank you very much. It was an honor and blessing having you on the Ask Show, and it brings me great blessing to finally get a chance to interview you on our season finale. Thank you, Father. Thank you. God bless you.
And thank you to our viewers who have tuned in to not just tonight's show, but to all our episodes and who've asked questions and contributed and making show, this show a success. And I know I said to you this is our season finale, but we will be back sooner than you think. So be ready with some new content. And please, if you have suggestions, we are on board on taking your suggestions and making more Ask shows based on what you want to see and what questions you want to throw at us. We will welcome and anticipate EYC students in Sydney. Good night and God bless.